legacy that costumes for cinema are made Just for one for the movie. movie and maybe even one scene, mm. maybe even one shot. Theater, there's a re repetition. Wait. They might have a longer life, but for cinema, they get their close up or even their long shot and then they're put away maybe forever. When we were given the opportunity to work with the archive of Pasolini and we went in Rome to find the, it was like going into a zoo where all the most precious old animals are. And they was, these animals were so happy to see us. They were all, you know, waiting for another moment. I don't know how we translate embodying. Uh, yeah. Say incarné. There is his body into yeah. embodying, yeah. and it's very important talking about Pasolini to talk about mind, body, corps, naissance, right. mort. Tu peux pas ne pas avoir une connivence entre le chemin de solitude de, de Pierre Paolo Pasolini et les autres chemins de solitude des grands artistes. On n'est pas artiste pour euh, le monde public parfois. On est artiste pour euh, parce que c'est absolument nécessaire de créer, de faire venir de soi. Pasolini was expressing something responsive to the culture and to society and There's this sense of uh, fire and, mm -hmm. and, of course, outrage in him. What has been so thrilling for us is to take a piece that might have had one, only one gesture, or maybe mm -hmm. two, and to give it another gesture. They feel, they feel like sculpture. become part of a of shape you're part of a kind of architectural body and you slot in to them there is something very close between the life of Pasolini the work of Pasolini, the end of the life of Pasolini, there is something very poetic and dramatic. All these clothes are like epiderm. I think that it's our territory, to us, Tilda and me, to go to the unknown of these vêtements muets. They're like leaves that fell off a tree. Yes. Just follow our noses along mm -hmm. this track and mm -hmm. pick up these nuts in the forest and smell them. I mean, we are really indulging our own um, interests here. He's like an escapologist, and uh, I feel a little like an escapologist myself. And I like to seek out other escapologists and to know that you're working in a collaboration with someone who is going to be just not interested in what we know, mm -hmm. constantly interested in finding out the new space and daring each other um, into that position of wonder. I feel that we occupy a place of wonder together, um, which is uh, a huge luxury. Quelle chance. Yes, really. Quelle chance. Quelle chance.